This video shows how to replace the print head cleaning roll kit components on the HP Latex 1500 printer. Replace the cleaning roll, aerosol filters and left spittoon anytime the roll runs out of material. The print head cleaning roll kit contains a cleaning roll, aerosol filters and left spittoon. Put on a pair of gloves. Navigate to the internal print server or IPS, click printer and select replace cleaning roll kit from a drop down menu. Click next to begin the replacement process. The carriage moves to the service position. Open the window. The first thing to replace is the aerosol filters. The internal print server shows the steps for replacing the aerosol filters. Open one latch on the right side of each aerosol filter module. Open the lid of each filter module. Extract the aerosol filter from the aerosol container and remove the filter from the frame. Repeat this action with the other aerosol filter. Clean the frame nozzle with the maintenance kit brush. Grab one of the new filters provided with the kit. Place the new filter on its frame and each frame in a corresponding module. There is only one correct way to insert the frames. If you feel resistance, turn the frame around and try to insert the frame again. Place another filter on the other aerosol filter module. Close the lids and latches of both aerosol filter modules. Click next at the wizard window to start the replacement of the left spittoon. Next, replace the left spittoon. With the printer window still open, locate the left spittoon at the left side of the print area. Slide the left spittoon foam out. Locate the new foam for the spittoon between the kit components. Slide the spittoon in its place. Make sure it is flat. Close the window. Click next at the internal print server wizard window to start the replacement of the print head cleaning roll. Next, replace the print head cleaning roll using the wizard on the IPS. Click OK in the pop-up window to begin the process. Unlock and open the door on the front right of the printer. Grip the handle and pull the entire print head cleaning roll assembly out through the door. Pull the black knob to the upper left and move the pinch system aside. Turn the roll at the bottom of the assembly clockwise to create sag. Clean the rubber blade at the top of the assembly with the end of the roll. Turn the take up roll counterclockwise to tighten it again. Turn the feed roller until you reach the end of the roll. When you reach the end of the roll, free the material from the spindle. Turn the take up roller until the material is completely out of the print head roller assembly. Remove the end cap and slide the take up roll off its axle and dispose of the roll according to the instructions provided with the new roll. Remove the empty core and keep it to use it as a take up core. Insert the end cap until it clicks into place. The empty core must be aligned against the end cap. Slide the new roll onto the upper spindle. Insert the end cap until it clicks in its place. Then, pull the roll against the end cap. Thread the leading edge of the roll up through the assembly over the upper rollers. Then, thread it through the pinch rollers. 
Finally, thread the leading edge down the left side of the assembly. Do not thread the leading edge behind the roller on the left. This roller needs to stay between the roll and the material. Insert the leading edge tabs into the slots in the take-up core. Turn the take-up core several times to attach the roll to the core. Restore the pinch system by moving the black knob into place. If you feel resistance caused by the cleaning roll being too tight, turn the roll slightly counterclockwise to loosen it. The blue ring on the far side of the black knob should not be visible if the knob has been correctly placed. If it is visible, try placing the knob again. Grip the handle and push the print head cleaning roll assembly back into the printer. Make sure that you push it back as far as it will go. Click done on the internal print server wizard window. If the cleaner roll has not been properly installed, you might see a message about clearing a print head cleaning roll jam. Pull the assembly out, wind a little of the roll forward, then slide it back in again. The printer checks the roll again. Close the front door. The printer is now ready to print. The print head cleaning roll length tracking is now reset to zero. Do not empty or remove the drain container. This is done by a service engineer during preventative maintenance. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash hp support advanced.